And what it does, it pushes everything down into a nice orderly appearance. Keyword research is foundational to a website's success. I love it, it's fun. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do keyword research in a simple way that will help you rank higher on Google. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is pick a topic to talk about. I like dogs, let's talk about a dog. Let's talk about one of those little dogs, chihuahuas. I don't even know how to spell it, chihuahua. Yeah, let's make sure we got it. Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's create a topical cluster uh, of keywords that we can rank for quickly. How do we do it? So let's ask ChatGPT, um, list off seven categories regarding chihuahuas that would be helpful for owners to understand. I'm writing articles on chihuahuas. Okay, now we're gonna let this run out. History and origin, good. Size and appearance, good. Let's see what it does, let's let it run out. Now we're gonna jump to a new tool, questiondb.io. Type in chihuahua. What does questiondb.io do? Well, here's the plans, it's free, 50 searches per month, which will work for our use case right now. Pro would allow for more, but what it does is something pretty special. When, what uh, Question DB does is it goes out and finds phrases and search terms that are being served by Reddit and Quora um, and things like that. So for instance, my dog is a little chihuahua. Is that way overpriced? Uh, why are chihuahuas so expensive? So Quora, this kind of guides us. Look, there's 50 keywords here or phrases. Why are chihuahuas so expensive is being served number one by Quora. Why does that matter? That matters because we can usually as bloggers rank higher than Reddit and Quora. This is like a gold mine for us. So what matters now is how do we, how do we cluster these together? So what I'm going to do is take these. I'm going to push them to, where are you? These. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, please just give me the categories without the descriptions. And then what we're going to do, we're going to copy or we're going to paste all that stuff that we just had from, uh, what was it? Question DB. We're going to grab these ones here is at six. All right. These are the primary um, level categories. Please categorize everything below under the primary categories. Let's see what it does. Okay, some is in Spanish. This is really good. Look what it's doing. History and origin, where chihuahuas come from. Where is the chihuahua desert? Does this really rank in Quora or Reddit? Sometimes it's lower down the list. Let's, where chihuahua dogs come from. All right, first served is Britannica.com, AKC, then Wikipedia. Somewhere in here will be Reddit, or Quora, or something. I might've missed it already. So we have to sort through and see what's best for us. But we're going to take this. I might ask it to do one more thing. Please take this information and rewrite into a two columned table. All right, let's see if it can do it. Good. This is really good. I'll show you what we do with this. Then we can uh, create a topic cluster pretty easily. So let's just let this run out. So it turned out great. Uh, history and origin, all these things regarding to history and origin, size and appearance, and so on and so forth. It is separating all the keywords, the phrases by BR, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push it over, over here to a uh, sheet, and then we're gonna use some magic. The magic is pretty simple. We need an extension called Power Tools. So if you don't have it, go to add-ons, get add-ons and type in Power Tools. It's a cool thing. Let me uh, move my head. So with this, Power Tools, we're able to split. There's different things we can do, all kinds of functions. Split, we are gonna split text. We're highlighting the row with all the BR breaks of phrases. Split text. We're gonna split values by strings. Uh, so we're gonna say basically, take this. If you see this thing, this BR uh, 
split values to rows and just click split and see what happens and what it does it pushes everything down into a nice orderly appearance and all of a sudden we have a beautiful topic cluster let me move my head back now what you can do from here is up to you what i would do i would take each of these and do a little homework uh i would type it into to google and and see the relative competition so this is just a start it's not perfect like i said uh this tool question db these terms are you know long tail in a way um and they have reddit or quora or other user generated content rank in there sometimes it's further down on the page uh, but we know that these are lower ranking terms so what we've done here is create an easy topical uh, map with keywords that can rank for you uh, i would combine them you know if, if this one our chihuahuas mix is ill-tempered uh, is there anything else about chihuahuas being ill-tempered i would combine them into an article um, i could ev even go as far as this i'd say to chat gpt can any of these articles be combined? And if so, why? Let's see what it says. Understanding Chihuahua behavior and health. Okay. Good. So it's given us... Look at this. It's given us a co cover whether Chihuahuas take better drone, how to deal with newly adopted so ChatGPT knows about you know keywords because it's, it's run on data it doesn't know their keywords necessarily it doesn't know like the volume but it can give us new ideas pretty interesting let's say which articles of these can be combined specifically tell me which ones Why do so? The following articles can be combined to provide an overall view of Chihuahua health and behavior. Uh, okay, so it's just given us all of it, but that's really good. So we could have one article on Chihuahua health and behavior, right? Let's type that in. Let's just see what comes up. Probably some big dogs. Uh, that was a pun. That was a terrible pun. Probably some big websites. Petchy dog. But we know if we write this article in a certain way with these keywords, we're going to pick out some, some SERP results. We're going to get featured most likely in Google's results from these specific questions. So what I would do, I would build out an article on Chihuahua health and behavior. And how to do that simply would be uh, write an outline for this article. I'll just ask you to write an outline. Right? There's other methods which I've reviewed uh, in detail on other videos on how to do competitor research and things but this is a pretty easy way to do it as well what we're doing here is we're pinpointing low competition phrases we're going to fold them into an article and we're going to write it out not hard at all so anyways hope this helps make sure to subscribe we're making an ai tool a content tool to create really awesome content we're doing a thousand blog posts on bopple.com and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.